to submit. Okay, thank you. So, you know, I'm in support of the application and uh, the fact of the, the matter and why we are in support of it is number one, as I said earlier, we were never served with those directions and the fact that we were never served, this is proper procedure. Does any matter that is taken before a judge, parties, all parties must be notified. We were never notified. So why we were never notified and I had to learn about this issue today, I do not know. That raises eyebrows. And from the petitioner's view, side of view, is will this bench be impartial or will we be hard? Because if directions are being taken, petition E013 of 2024 is part and parcel. In fact, it was consolidated. We have not been notified. Why? Number two, the issue of fair hearing, Article 50, has been repeated over and over again. Is not this a violation of the second petitioner's right to fair hearing? In fact, some of these applications, I'm getting them now. Yet, I should have been served before. Why the hurry? Why the rush? Why am I supposed to be served right now in court and I'm told five minutes submit? What is in stake? Let us all get a fair hearing. And with these preliminaries that are coming up, one is meant to wonder, will we really get justice? Petition E013, 2024, was filed before uh, petition E014 and E015. Counselor, just for your information, those yes. were your orders to go from Kagoya. And where yes. the issue, petitions were consolidated. So yes. that must have been your application before that court. Yes. So don't bring it here. Yes. But the issue is, even after it was brought here, it is being mentioned and we are not aware. So if a matter is going to be mentioned and we are not merit and why so yet we have not submitted let us be given a chance let us be given audience even to reply to the issues that are being brought forward and we cannot reply when standing right now i need time i need one hour or 30 minutes or whatever but i need time so those are the issues why we are in support of this application we feel that we are not being given a fair hearing. And the other issue that has been raised also, that the bench sat on a Saturday. We are not aware. We are learning right now. We know court operates Mondays to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. This Saturday, when was this direction issued? Why were we not informed? So those are the basis why we are now joining hands. Though our petition has its own grounds. But then again, because of those issues, we feel if, if we, we don't raise this issue, then uh, we, we, we might not get proper justice because uh, there are some people who, of course, are SDAs who, who are not able to sit on Saturday, who are not notified again, you know, those kind of issues. That's why we are wondering why the rush. Yes, yes. Um, maybe finally. Yeah, on, on the application for entitlement. Yes. Yes, yes. That is the, the issue. The issue was that, uh, and I've also talked about it, we were never informed. And any petition, any case that will be given direction, so long as I'm in it, so long as there's a petitioner there, I have to be heard. And that is the law. And there's nothing new I'm saying. This is the procedure all advocates use. Why is it that I'm being ignored? I'm being notified. 11 a.m. watching television and I was very eager like any normal Kenyan. I see my petition being mentioned. I was very angry. But I decided to take a vehicle from Kirinyaga County quickly to come before this court. And inform the court that that is not fair. That is not fair, and Article 50 
has been violated. And this being a constitutional court, kindly, kindly allow us to participate fairly. Yes, yes, my colleague can make the words. Within the limited time, the two sat with my learned friend, Mrs. Kimoto. Uh, and despite all those challenges, we have come up with about four points which we request that we be allowed to, to submit on since we may not have more time to file documents in support of the application. So kindly, my Lord, give me five minutes. Your Lordship, the powers that are given to the Chief Justice to empanel a bench, as submitted by my learned friends, is not a power that, be, that can be delegated. In uh, constitutional classes, which we have the privilege to be tutored by senior counsel, Professor Gidu Mugai. He told us that there is a principle called delegatus non protest delegare. A delegate cannot delegate. So that the people of Kenya have delegated power to the Chief Justice to exercise that power. And the Constitution does not leave any room for delegation of that power. So now, we are before you, having been empaneled by a person who does not enjoy the people's power to empanel a bench. But Lord, this is a jurisdictional question rather than an administrative question. And from the decisions which have been cited by my, my, my learned friends, Kemri, Okiom Tata, and the Conchella case, one thing you learn is that in Kemri and Okiom Tata, the court said this is a constitutional function and it cannot be delegated. went and argued before the Court of Appeal, don't allow those proceedings to go on before the High Court. Because that bench, a five-judge bench, 
is appointed by a person who does not have the authority to appoint. And the Court of Appeal considered that application. In the ruling, the court agreed with the National Assembly and the Senate. And the ruling is, does not have a paragraph numbers, but uh, towards the end, now in finding that the Senate and the National Assembly had an arguable case, they said, as we have observed, an arguable point, point of appeal, on appeal, is not one that will ultimately succeed. The point intended to be argued, whether the Chief Justice was empowered by the said article, the article we are discussing, to empanel a bench of the High Court is not an idle one. It's not an idle point. It is an arguable point. The court, on the nugatory aspect, stated that on the nugatory aspect, it appears to us that if it was to be held on appeal, that the, just a bit, that the Deputy Chief Justice had no power to empanel the bench, the appeal would be a victory with no practical effect and academic exercise methods. So, the court also considered that that aspect, which was introduced by the Supreme Court in a previous decision, the public interest consideration. And they said, we've, we find also that this is a matter in the public interest domain, and it is proper that the appellant exhaust the appellate rights. So the court went ahead and said that the motion succeeds and state the proceedings in the High Court uh, and to date their state. And uh, the appeal was supposed to be determined in a certain period of time. The appeal is still pending and the proceedings in the High Court are still, uh, are still state. So, my Lord, you are at the place where the five-judge bench found itself. It made a determination, it was stayed. So today, we do not have any decision where the, de the, the empanelment by the chief, Deputy Chief Justice stands. Therefore, before we proceed in these matters, <coughs> kindly find that the Deputy Chief Justice does not have power to empanel uh, a bench of, uh, of an even number of judges to hear the matter. Thank you very much. Your Lordship and my lady, if it may please you, my name is Akimpa. I act for the third petition in this consolidated petition, in, uh, which was uh, Kerugoya E014 of 2024. Your Lordship, I, I want to begin to say that the proceedings that are before this court today are fruits of a prisoner's tree for the following reasons, my Lord. The first reason is that, Your Lordship, our matter was referred to the Honorable <coughs> Lady Justice, uh, the Chief Justice, on 11th of October, 2024, for empanelment of a, of a, of a bench. Your Lordship, the, the same has never happened until the conservatory orders in petition E015 were granted. It therefore shows, Your Lordship, that petition E014 has consolidated with 013 are here to seal the loopholes so that we cannot question why petition E015 was brought before this court before E014. Your Lordship, uh, I just want to agree with all the submissions by my learned friends, and that is my submissions. 